Hey, what's up? My name is Jonathan Edwards, and today I'm going to get into Final Cut Pro, and I'm going to show you how to set up a multicam edit. By the end of this video, you should know how to start cutting multicam. To start with a fresh library. Folder organization and media management is very, very important. So what I do when I import my footage, often I'll rename all my clips as well, but you, you don't necessarily have to do that. Every single camera angle gets imported to their own folder. So you'll see I have B cam, C cam, Dolly and Jib. We have two separate folders, one for audio, one for video, and then we have one folder for each one of the camera angles. Hopping back over to Final Cut Pro, we're going to Go ahead and rename the event name. I'm going to call it media. You can call it whatever you want. I suggest using the word media. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on either import media or command I. That's going to bring up our import dialog. So hop over to the hard drive where you have that media stored. And really important that you have it on an external hard drive. SSDs are always faster. That's what I generally go with. So you're going to find that footage. You see, I have it right here. We will look through it real quick. You'll see that my audio right there dolly jib c cam etc they're all there in c cam there are three separate clips it's not going to affect our edit at all in the import window you're going to click on leave files in place you're going to check both of those boxes keep your keywords from finder tags and from folders uh, we're going to go ahead and leave the audio rolls alone and we're going to create proxy media you can delete proxy media later but right now we're going to create proxy media none of this other stuff in analyze and fix none of that stuff matters i promise you now go ahead and click on import selected you'll see that all the clips are coming in here right up here at the top left hand corner you'll see a little window you can click on that and it'll show you the progress of your render i recommend waiting a little bit so you could pause this for a minute come back when it's all rendered we're going to go up to Window, Workspaces, and then click on Organize. We're going to change the view mode from Film Strip to List View. I'm just going to resize the windows a little bit. Now I'm going to right click on the title bar for all these columns, and I'm going to get rid of all the non-essential media. We don't need all this information, so we're just going to keep duration and camera angle. Everything else we're going to get rid of. Now, if you didn't rename on import, that's fine. If you did, that's great. Remember what I said? Those folder names were going to be important. Each folder name assigned a keyword to the clips. So if you click on that keyword, it will show you there's your B cam footage, C cam footage, Dolly, Jib, Media, Video, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through these and so I'm going to hop over to the Jib. That's my A cam. So I'm going to call that angle number one. I'm just going to click on that column, hit one, boom. Now I'm going to go to the dolly. That's going to be camera angle number two. Pretty simple, right? Now we're going to go to the B cam. That's going to be camera angle number three. And C cam, I waited for the last. This is going to be camera angle number four. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of those. Then I'm going to hop over to the inspector Right over in camera angle, I'm going to type in three. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Let me, let me fix that real quick. That's supposed to be camera angle number. That is supposed to be camera angle number four. All right. Now I'm going to go back to media and I see I didn't do the audio. Audio is angle number five. It's always the last angle. So you can click on the camera angle right up in the toolbar and it'll organize it ascending or descending in the order of angle. So keep them all together. Now you're going to highlight all the clips. You're going to right click, select new multicam clip. That's going to drop down. Go ahead and name your multicam clip. And I usually add the word multicam to the end of the name. 
Now the event that you're gonna keep it in, just keep it in media event, that's fine. In this case, we don't have any other events. All right, so make sure that use audio for synchronization is selected. Angle assembly, I do it by camera angle because I went ahead and labeled them. And then everything else, we're gonna keep on automatic. Your, your video settings, you want your settings to be the same as the original footage or the same as the project that you want to export. So we've already created those proxies. So let's just keep it at 422 so we don't have to re-render any new proxies. And uh, now we're going to just click OK. And boom, your multicam clip is done. Pretty cool, right? Go ahead and double click on your multicam and it's gonna open up. And right now, all we wanna do is really just check to make sure everything's in sync and hop over to this little thing over here and we can adjust the size of the clips to make the audio waveforms bigger. And I'm gonna go ahead and select that because that will make them, it'll, it'll just add priority to the waveforms. And it's all good, it looks all synced up. Now, you don't have to do this, I do this. I go ahead and highlight all these I'm gonna hit delete. When you do that, you are just setting them as rejected. Hop over to the little view window and I'm gonna drop it down to hide rejected. Now we're gonna click on new project. Set up your project however you want. You could use custom settings. You can have it automatically set the settings based on the clip. That's all fine. So I'm gonna just drop that multicam clip into the timeline. Now I'm gonna hit command control plus one little shortcut to toggle off the browser. So I'm gonna hit Command Shift 7 to turn on the multicam viewer. And uh, that's gonna show me all my angles. Up in the top right hand corner of the multicam viewer, you'll see a little drop down that says settings. I'm gonna change my angles. Just change it to whatever you need. In this case, I'm putting nine angles up. Put your playhead at the beginning of the clip and then and then select the clip you want all of your audio to come from. In my case, it is the Strictly audio file. Now we're gonna change the switcher back to video only. We're gonna go over to the view, over the change that to proxy. Move the playhead back to the beginning of the clip. J, K, L. L to move forward, K to pause, and J to go backwards. As it plays, just click on the angle you wanna see as you go. And that's it. That is multicam editing in Final Cut Pro. There's a lot more to it, but this, like I said, is the 101. So I get everything set up. Hope it helped. Thanks a lot for watching.